We continue to follow some major breaking news this morning. Both President Trump and the First Lady tested positive for COVID-19 overnight. We want to go live to Dr. Amy Edwards, an infectious disease specialist with the University Hospitals. Doctor, first of all, good morning. And my first question to you is, are you surprised? Good morning. Um, you know, I'm not really that surprised. Well, I am and I'm not. I'm not because, you know, the President has to be around a lot of people every day. There's people coming and going. He's got lots of meetings. I'm a little surprised because I would have thought the White House in particular would have been extremely careful about making sure everybody around the president masks and wash their hands and keep six feet away from him. But, you know, with all the people he has to be around, maybe that's just not possible. I don't know. Well, doctor, let me ask you this. Are you concerned? He's 74 years old in the high risk category. Yeah, I think it's it it is a little concerning. I'm I'm hopeful because he will be getting the best medical care around. He'll be getting early medical care because of an early diagnosis. So I'm hopeful, but I'm I am concerned and I I I hope very much that that he and the first lady have mild disease and and get out of this easy, but with viruses, you know, there's no guarantee in life. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. Uh, it, it appears, at least they're saying, that right now, no symptoms. He may be asymptomatic. But can that change as time goes by? Absolutely. My understanding is in the White House, people are being tested very frequently. Mm -hmm. So the chance that you would catch them in that early asymptomatic phase, we know that for about anywhere from 24 to 72 hours before um, you start uh, developing symptoms, you can be shedding the virus and can have a positive test. So it's possible we, that they caught him during that phase, during the, the what we call the pre-symptomatic phase. If he's very, very lucky, maybe he'll be asymptomatic the entire time. That's very rare in that age group. Most people over 70 do have at least some symptoms. Um, but, you know, we can hope for the best. Mm. Doctor, contact tracers have a huge job on their hands right now with how many people, as you just mentioned, are around the president. So the domino effect here, it's, it's just hard to even fathom. So where do they go from here? So what they'll do is they'll go back 48 hours from this test and everybody parent, that the president and the first lady have been in contact with over the last um, 48 hours. So that's closer than six feet for longer than 15 minutes, um, we'll need to go into quarantine. Well, let me ask you this. So, uh, uh, Joe Biden, is he at risk? They were, they were on that stage together. They were, I guess, six feet apart, yeah. but they were talking and they were pretty, you know, pretty emotional about some and things. And in the same room. You're right, right. Yeah, there was a lot of shouting. Um, I, I don't know. I, I have to go back and see how far apart they were. Um, I, I had really hoped that they would put a barrier between them, like a plexiglass mm -hmm. barrier to, to, you know, make it that much safer. And I, I really wish they forced them to wear masks. I mean, my, I know my masks make a muffling, but it can overcome, you know, a microphone should be able to overcome that. But, you know, the aesthetics of that would not have been nice, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, it's, I guess it's a little bit concerning. I think the, chance, the risk is very low. Um, but it's, I don't think it's zero with all the mm -hmm. shouting that was going on. Yeah. Well, doctor, this is probably a massive message, right, to take this virus seriously. But is it a wake-up call, though, to wear these masks? I mean, you've been preaching that since day one. Look, I think what this shows is that anybody can get this. Nobody is safe from it. So we all need to work together to do everything we can to protect each other. That means we wear our masks. That means we wash our hands. That means we stay six feet away from each other. And that means we stay home when we're not feeling well. Dr. Amy Edwards from University Hospitals, thank you very much for your expertise as always. You're welcome.